There's been a whole lot of hoopla with these government stimulus checks and I should know seeing as I'm an expert in hoopla. But if you're anybody like me, you probably got a lot of skepticism, a bit of curiosity, and definitely a whole lot of questions. And after all, we've never really experienced something like this. So not everybody's really just on boat that the government's gonna give us $1,200 just for being us. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna give you the only five things you actually need to know about this stimulus check and it should clear up everything. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Mike's Travels and Sense, where I go over points in travel strategies and more importantly, how not to go broke while enjoying it all. Now, if that sounds good to you, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss future content like this. And if you found some value in this video, drop me a like to let me know. But with all that out of the way, let's get into the video. So these stimulus checks, formerly known as economic impact payments, are a product of the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, or the CARES Act, specifically Division B, which is relief for individuals, families, and businesses under Title I, which is for rebates and other individual provisions. So this act also contains guidance on a couple other things like the small business loan for, you know, small businesses that were largely affected by this whole thing, which can get you up to $10,000 for your business. And um, there's also the plan for mitigating emergency drug shortages. So yeah, there's a lot of things wrapped into this act, but those are a couple of the things. And I don't want to really waste anybody's time with a super long intro, so let's just get right into the nitty gritty. Number one, the thing everyone needs to know is the who, as in who is eligible for this payment. So there's three requirements to actually be eligible. One, you have to have a valid social security number. Two, you can't be claimed as a dependent on anybody's taxes. And three, you have to have an adjusted gross income under a certain amount. And specifically, if you're a single filer with income exceeding $99,000 or a joint filer with no children who have income exceeding $198,000, you're not eligible. Number two, the next big question is the when, and the answer to that is right now. In fact, as of drafting this video on 14 April, I've already had my payment sent to me via direct deposit. The US Department of Treasury announced that the payment should really start on 15 April, so it's looking like they're actually a little bit ahead of schedule here. And then from that 15 April date, they pretty much gave like a two week window for when most eligible people can expect to see their payments. There are two caveats here. One being for those people that are gonna need to use the IRS application, uh, get my payment. And I say it's a caveat because you can expect a delay on this because they haven't actually launched a site yet. But you will only need to use this application if you filed for your tax returns of 2018 or 2019 and did not set up direct deposit, basically. The other caveat is if you're somebody that just wants a physical check, obviously that's gonna come with a bit of lead time since you have to have a physical check mailed to you. Overall though, most people can expect to receive their payment either basically by the end of April or very early May. Number three, the how is in how much should you be expecting to get? Well, eligible individuals will receive a payment of $1,200 for individual or head of household filers and $2,400 for married filing jointly. There are some obvious additional details though. One of them is eligible individuals will receive an additional $500 per qualifying child under the age of 17 that they claim on their taxes. Another important aspect is that you will receive reduced payment if your adjusted gross income is between $75,000 and $99,000 if your filing status was single or married filing separately. Now between $112,500 and $136,500 for head of household or between $150,000 and $198,000 if your filing status was married filing jointly. This reduction will be by $5 for each $100 above the $75,000, $112,500, and $150,000 thresholds. Again, as I stated earlier, single filers with income exceeding $99,000, $136,000, $136,500 for head of household filers and $198,000 for joint filers with no children are not eligible and will not receive any payments. 
TurboTax actually has a calculator on their website, which will allow you to calculate your specific return. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Number four, the what, as in what steps do you need to take to make sure you actually get your money? The short of it is everyone pretty much falls into three categories. Category one, do nothing. If you completed your 2018 or 2019 federal income tax return and you received the direct deposit and your banking info hasn't changed since then, there's no action required on your part. Your money will come. Don't click on any scammy links in your email. Category two is for those who did complete their 2018 or 2019 federal income tax return and either A, your physical address has changed since then or two, you need to make a change to your direct deposit so it goes to the right account. Be aware that if you want a physical check to come to a new address, it's going to take about four to six weeks for that change of address request to actually process, not to mention the time that it's going to take to also get a physical check to your house. But if you are persistent on getting a physical check, you're going to have to complete a form 8822 change of address. And if you need to correct some of that info for that direct deposit, you're going to have to use the Get My Payment application that I mentioned earlier in the video, which is set to launch sometime in the middle of April. So that should be available sometime probably in the next day or two. Category three is for people who did not file a 2018 or 2019 federal income tax return because your gross income was under $12,200 or $24,400 for married couples and those who weren't required to file a 2018 or 2019 federal income tax return for any other reasons. You will need to use the non-filers payment info portal. Number five, the catch, as in will you have to pay this money back? One big misconception is that this is basically nothing more than a glorified loan from the government that we're all gonna have to ante up on the next tax return. But actually the answer is no. In fact, the payments are not taxable income and are actually structured as a refundable tax credit so you won't have to pay this back at all. In fact, when you file your 2020 tax return, you may actually be eligible for more money. So say for example, if you make less money now than you did on 2018 or 2019's return, you can get that difference in that $1,200 if you didn't get the full amount for this check. Or say for example, if you've had a kid since then, you can get that $500 that you didn't get this go around. Also, if you somehow make more money now than you did when you got this check this time, you won't have to pay that money back either. So there's pretty much no way that you'll have to pay this money back. And there you have it. Everything you probably need to know about the economic impact payments. And just remember, I'm not somebody in the government. I'm just a guy with a camera, a mic and some Google food. So if you want, just do your own research. But please don't fall victim to any of these people trying to reach out to you about some secret information or a way to double your uh, your stimulus check or whatever. Um, the IRS, for one, will never reach out to you and ask for any of your personal information. So anybody trying to get your bank account info or whatever, it's a scam. That's the whole reason that these portals and stuff are set up so that you can provide your information to the resources they've already made available. They generally won't reach out to you directly asking for personal info. But that's all I've got for this video. So as always, if you found some value in this video, drop me a like. And if you want to be sure to catch more content like this in the future, you should definitely subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I do upload. But remember, the one thing more valuable than your points is your money. And the only thing more valuable than your money is your time. But until next time, peace.